2025 is just not even two weeks old, and yet we have a brand new 3D printer coming out soon. The Creality? Hi! A multicolor 3D printer. And what do I think about it? And Zach, react. Hey, Zach here, and welcome to this video, or should I say hi? So let's dive right in and see where this 3D printer is all about. And so this is the 3D printer, the Creality High with, with the CFS, the Creality Filament System next to it. Still, I think this is the same box as they used on the, uh, the K2. So uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. We have here on the left side, I already see on the overall picture that this looks similar like what we have seen in the past. It looks kind of very familiar. I think I'm also going to do some comparison with the other 3D printers next to it. If you know it, you know where, where this is going. We have on the left side, we have this RFID tag, just like on the Creality K2 on the right hand side. This is on the left hand side. I think it makes total sense. If you see on the right hand the display it would be very difficult especially when there is a display sitting there as well and maybe you have also the uh, cfs standing on the right hand side just like we saw on the creality and the three v3 series and the v3 plus very nice silver dark silver kind of aluminum frame very sleek very futuristic it uh, reminds me of another brand that has some has done something similar we have here on the x-axis here on on this axis we have here a sort of cutter or a oh yeah this this looks like the hot end is or the printhead is going in this direction and then it wipes the nozzle here and then it shoots out the filament poop so that is very nice we have seen that before like mentioned the printhead uh, it is still a direct drive printhead i see here a uh, parts cooling fan on the front side of course the hot end cooling uh, there is one cable going all the way back to this side i also see something here like the where the filament hub is where one filament is being pulled out and a new one is uh, pushed uh, back in uh, does this looks like a no this is not a camera right <sighs> so i see here a camera is there something red okay we we need to check further what else do we have this looks like an ethernet port oh the screen you can turn and flip okay uh so i see here i think that this part is the filament cutter of course it, it, the printhead is going all the way to the right then cuts the filament and then everything is being uh, retracted new filament is uh, being pushed in and then later on uh, you will get this filament poop perched on the left side and then it continues printing also here on the right hand side another parts cooling fan so double parts cooling fan we have seen this picture so just like with the v3 plus i I think the V3 has it as well. A filament spool holder for on the top. You can put a single spool of filament in there and then let, with a reverse Bowden tube setup, let the filament through the printhead. This seems that this, these are some smooth rods. So we have a smooth rod set up here. Mind blowing print speed, 500 millimeters per second maximum speed and the acceleration is 12,000 millimeters per second square. Auto calibration, super easy to use. Yeah, well, I believe that it is super easy to use. Dual gear direct drive extruder, very nice, very convenient. Much quieter experience, like 50 decibels. Creality high combo, high color, you're fun. Well, this is basically the, the normal screen that you see on many of the Creality printers nowadays, but this is something special. Five spools, really? Five? Oh, wait, 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 hold your horses. So on the left side, from this picture here, we have one single spool of filament, and then you have here four for the CFS. And then the rest, you know, like home settings and some Android. Software management system in Creality OS, that's cool. Creality print 5.0 with multicolor slicing abil ability. Please, Creality, make also a octo print profile so that people can also use some, some different slices other than, you know, Creality print. Not, all, not everybody is liking Creality print. Hardware. We have maybe already talked or discussed about it. RFID tagged filaments. There's a little asterisk and it says RFID filaments are sold separately, of course. But is it going to adapt also the RFIDs from other brands as well? For example, can you use the RFID tags from bamboo spools of filament? Or if, for example, Polymaker is bringing out some ID, uh, RFID tags, do they also, can you also use that in these kind of systems as well? Strain gauge, we have seen that before. Uh, those strain gauges are getting more and more advanced. Dual lead screws. I, I remember those times that we had a Creality Ender 3 or a 3 Plus. And yeah, no, with the 3 Plus, with the Creality Ender 3 came a Plus version, so a bigger size. And everybody in the chat or during this, the, the, a Creality stream, people were asking, 
why are you using a bigger size 3D printer but have just a one single Z lead screw supporting one side? Why not on both sides? And it seems that Creality listened to it because nowadays when they push out those 3D printers, they stand to come with dual lead screw setup. It seems to be. Anyways, so dual lead screw setup. The built-in buzzer will give off corresponding sounds when the print task is finished or paused unexpectedly. No need for your constant attention. Well, that's, I think that the feature in itself, you know, giving alerts, stuff like that, it's amazing. Uh, I don't know if it is going to get very annoying when something is really off on, on the printer. Just imagine every single time, like every five minutes, like the beeps. Uh, easy from assembly to first print. I have seen that before. We do have a camera on this 3D printer. So yeah, there is a camera on this 3D printer. There's a white light and there's a red light. Not green light, red light, or red light, green light. No, you are not going to be shot, okay? This 3D printer has a camera. <laughs> and yes, you are seeing this correctly. We have two pictures. We have two pictures here. One that says that the screen is turnable. Put it up and down. But you can also fold it away. So that is very neat and handy. But then I think about it. I have seen that before on this 3D printer. Here we have the screen. And as you can see, uh, you can also fold it away. Uh, turnable, fold it away. I thought I saw it somewhere. Yeah, so here you can very quickly see that the, the screen you can turn away and then it's all flat. So basically what we have here, we have here as well. Same thing. Now we are going to look for the camera because on the right hand side of this 3D printer, we have a camera. It's a built-in camera, so you don't have to buy it as an additional camera. So that is cool. But if we are looking to this and we are looking to here, privacy, camera lens cover, forget about the sticker. Physically block the camera with a simple mechanism. Nice cool feature just like on on your laptop if you have a webcam built in you can slide the cover and then it's all closed and it's all good now creality has with this system the same kind of thing a video monitoring of your print jobs now um i don't know what happened here i think something went wrong in aligning the pictures i have no idea but if i'm looking to this this picture here so you you can flip it up and then you can cover it next to it we have a light and we have something here. Now, on the version from Bamboo, yeah, there are two lights. So if, if the lens cover is open so that the camera can see what you are doing, then those lights are being visible as well. I don't know. But here, we have also a red light. I don't know what the purpose is of the red light. If you are recording something that you, it's, it's lighting up a little bit. But then, if you are printing something that takes long enough, 24 hours, so then you would have the day-night cycle in your room as well. What is going to happen with the time-lapse footage that you will see? Is the red light going to be visible? The, is the white light there to actually make it that your print is visible during the time-lapse videos? Or is it a combination of both? Or is this red light a infrared light? Time will tell. But anyways, it's, 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 it's the same thing as here. Privacy. Privacy. Why doing this? Why copying? Why not doing something differently? Cool feature. You have a camera where you can make some time-lapse. Uh, Maybe even stream it if that is a possibility. Yeah, let's let's give my honest opinion about the, about this one. Uh, yeah, it's looking very very similar to to the A1 from Bamboo Labs. I don't want to say a one to one copy. There are some features that are very very familiar, very much looking like it it has been copied. I want to mention that Creality Filament System and the AMS Lite are not looking the same. They are using the same box as they use on the Creality K2. I'm still wondering. Are they going to push out the CFS for the older generation 3D printers like the K1, the V3 Plus, or maybe even the KA? I don't know. Time will tell. If they are going to push out new 3D printers that ha have the compatibility that you can attach the CFS to, yeah, I thought it was going to be possible to do that. However, if you think about it, the print head of the K1 and the other 3D printers like from a year ago, they don't have this adapter adapter so you need to change the whole printhead so i really hope that creality is going to come with a cfs package where there is going to be a new printhead inside where you can just swap out the printhead but i doubt that they are going to do that fingers crossed 
but they will. And further, yeah, uh, price-wise, um, let's let's compare price-wise. So the combo of the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini is 489 USD. Well, if if we are going going all the way to the top, the Creality High combo is 469 USD. It's cheaper than the Bamboo Labs. Is it better? I don't know. If you if you really have a thing with Creality 3D printers, I would say like, yeah, go for it. If you are uh, new to 3D printing and you want to go for a 3D printer, I can say like, oh, go for this one or maybe go for a Bamboo Labs. What do you want to do with printers like this? What is your budget? I think, in my honest opinion, if you like Creality, well, go for the Creality. If you like Bamboo, go for the Bamboo. If you like any other 3D printer brand, it's fine. If you don't care at all which kind of brand it is, as long as you can get some nice, amazing prints out of your 3D printer, maybe you should check this one out and test for yourself and create your own opinion about this 3D printer. Well, since I don't have the printer, I just go over this 3D printer and give my thoughts and ideas about it. Not to bash the 3D printer, I think this is a serious attempt in order to stay at, as, to walk with the competition as well, to renew the things that they were doing in the past. So yeah, if you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Well, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and let me know in the comments, what do you think about the Creality High?